I think the best part about this 50th anniversary is allowing all the alumni from the 60s up to the last class that graduated last year, 2016, to come back and, and tour the halls of Crowley High School, relive their memories from when they were students here. I think that's the best part of it all. When the school opened in 1966, uh, I had transferred in, my family had moved here from Fort Worth, and I came from a really large school. The, the middle school or junior high that I went to had like 2,500 kids, and then I moved to, to the high school uh, that was much smaller, but very friendly, and had a strong sense of community out here that was different than a large school. It was great, because we came from uh, Best Race Elementary. My goodness, when we got to this high school, we felt like we had wide hallways, and we, we only had seven through 12. We didn't have one through all of us, you know. I mean, we all were on one spot. We had a lot of activities that we could do here that we hadn't been really able to do when it was an all-district school. So that made a big difference. Probably one of the things we were most excited about is we were going to get to play football for the first time ever. It was something we we had never been able to participate in, so there wasn't a choice. And when they made the announcement they were opening the high school, that was the first thing that they announced to us that we were really wound up about. It, it really was like a family because it's a very small town at that time. Everyone knew everyone, everyone knew everyone's kids. The teachers, uh, it went beyond just schooling. They took a real interest in you and I think that made an impact. It made you feel as if there was someone in your school, in your town, that really cared about you. It brought me, me and my husband together. We met here and been married for 47 years. So. We dated all through high school. I, of course, graduated in 68, she graduated in 69, and we married in September of 69. So we had all kinds of sporting events, basketball games. We'd ride on the bus together. You know, sometimes the coach would drive the bus. A lot of times the cheerleaders act as babysitters for the coach's small kids where he could go coach the games. And it was, it was a small town, but uh, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Since it was 50 years ago that the high school opened, 50 years ago that we met and started dating, it is a part of that first year we knew each other. And it, so that makes it special. What made Crowley High School special for me was the family orientation, uh, because we were like a family. So, you know, it's been a, it's been a lifelong relationship that I wouldn't take any amount of money for. I was proud when I was here as a student, I was proud when I was here as a teacher, and I'm proud as a community person for Crowley High School and Crowley ISD. I think as a graduate, we all played a small role in moving Crowley forward to the next year, to the next year, and on to the next decade of its existence. Um, and to be the principal at this school is an honor because there's great kids here and a great community. Um, but to also be here to help welcome those who are returning who might have graduated in 74 and have never been back to Crowley High School since then. So it's, it'll be great to welcome them back.